Hello viewers, today we are going to present the application of sample and whole circuit using field effect transistor and we shall demonstrate the experiment of the same. So the first thing that comes in our mind that why should we really bother about the sample and whole circuit and what is the use of it? Well, to answer this question, we have to know the basic of analog and digital communication system. In analog communication system, we directly use the analog signal. For example, we can say we use the voice signal from a microphone for processing, transmission and receiving purposes. But this is not the case with modern digital communication system, which only deals with the digital signal. So, in order to use the analog signal with digital system, we must convert the analog signal to its corresponding digital one. For this conversion, we have to first quantize or sample the analog signal. Then to convert the sample values in digital form, we have to hold the value for some time. Exactly for this reason, we are going to use this sample and hold circuit. Here by sampling, we mean to measure the instantaneous value of the analog signal in some intervals. Now to find the appropriate sampling interval in order to properly get back the message signal after reconstruction we may apply sampling theorem. So that is the brief theoretical description of the sample and whole circuit in the scope of this experiment. Now let us move to the experimental part. Today we are going to perform the experiment with the help of a trainer kit as we can see in our screen. Now let us see how many inbuilt section are there in this trainer kit. The first section in the top left corner is DC power supply section which is expected to deliver plus minus 15 volt DC at its output. Now let us check its functionality first. We are using a multimeter in DC 20 volt range. Now switch on the trainer kit. First, connect the multimeter's probe to the common and positive terminal of the power supply section. Here we are observing approximately plus 14.7 volt DC at the multimeter screen. Now let us connect the multimeter's probe to the common and negative terminal of the power supply section. Here we can see minus 14.5 volt DC at the multimeter screen. Hence we can conclude our power supply section is working properly. Now the proceeding section is sampling rate adjustment section where we can generate a square wave signal for sampling and we can adjust its frequency with the help of a potentiometer which is provided in this section. The next section is sine wave generator section where we can generate a sine wave signal and we can adjust its amplitude with the help of a potentiometer provided in this section. Now, let us check the functionality of sampling rate adjustment section and sine wave generator section with the help of a PC based oscilloscope. First switch on the scope. Here we can observe X and Y channel in the oscilloscope in yellow and green color respectively. The three knobs displayed in right side of the screen are provided for adjustment of time scale the blue one and for voltage division the yellow and green knobs for X and Y channel respectively. Now connect the ground terminal of the oscilloscope to any ground terminal of the trainer kit via patch cord. Then connect the X channel of the oscilloscope with the sampling rate adjustment section by patch cord. Likewise connect the Y channel of the oscilloscope with the sine wave generator section using patch cord. Now switch on the trainer kit. Here we can see a square wave signal in the X channel and a sine wave signal in the Y channel of the oscilloscope. Let us adjust the frequency of the square wave signal in X channel as produced by sampling rate adjustment section with the help of a potentiometer provided in this section. Likewise, we can adjust the amplitude of the sine wave in Y channel as produced by the sine wave generator section with the help of a inbuilt potentiometer. Hence, we can conclude that both the sections are working properly. 
Here note that we can calculate the sampling rate by measuring the time period from oscillator's time scale. The complete procedure for the same is provided in the operation manual attached in the description box of this video. Now let's move on the sampling and hold section. Here MOSFET IRA540 IC is used as sampling element and 0.1 microfarad capacitor is used as holding element. With the help of inbuilt switch we can connect or disconnect the holding element that is the capacitor. The switch remains open in up position and it is closed in down position. The potentiometer here adjusts the offset null of op amp 741 which is used as an amplifier of the output signal. Generally this potentiometer should be kept in its middle position. So let's start the experiment. First connect the sampling rate adjustment section to the sample in input Vs of sampling and hold circuit section via patch cord. Similarly, connect the sine wave generator section to the sine wave input terminal V in of the sampling and hold circuit using patch cord. Here, the external of the oscilloscope is connected to the sampling rate adjustment section. The Y channel of the oscilloscope is connected to the output of the sampling and hold circuit. First observe the output of the sampling and hold circuit in Y channel of the oscilloscope without connecting the holding element that is the capacitor. The voltage division of Y channel should be kept at 500 millivolt range. Now switch on the trainer kit. Here we can see the input sine wave signal is beautifully sampled by the square wave signal to display a sampled waveform. This kind of sampling is known as natural sampling. Now we shall connect the holding element the capacitor with the help of a inbuilt switch. Here we can see the wave from in Y channel is the sampled and hold signal. We can measure the sampled value from oscilloscope voltage scale. It is worth to remember here that the amplitude of the sine wave should be in the range of 500 millivolt and the frequency of the square wave signal should be around 1 kilohertz. The complete operation manual is attached in the description box. If you really like this video then please hit the like button, subscribe our channel for more videos like this and feel free to visit our website www.kalponascientific.com at your convenience for any product related information. Thanks for bearing with us. Let's meet in upcoming videos of this tutorial series. Till then, bye bye.